Discovery 66, the award-winning program for young people with Frank Buxton and Virginia Gibson. Today, Discovery goes to Israel. Hi, welcome to Discovery. Today on our Around the World trip, Ginny and I have come to one of the most exciting and one of the newest countries in the world, the state of Israel. It is a new country, Frank, only 18 years old. And yet everywhere you see names and places that sound like pages out of the Bible. Jerusalem, Mount Zion, over there Tiberius, Nazareth just beyond. Well, Ginny, the names and places and many of the traditions are ancient. But the spirit we're going to look at today is brand new. Because today we're going to meet some of the young people who have helped to carve this young nation out of the desert, have helped to defend its borders, and have brought to it much of the same desire for freedom and love of liberty that characterize the development of our own country. And one of the best places to feel that spirit and determination is right here where we've come today. We're on a kibbutz, a collective farm. The name of this particular kibbutz is En Gev. The people here speak Hebrew, a language that was old when the Bible was new. In Hebrew, En Gev means the spring that feeds the well. A wonderful name for a kibbutz, Jenny has helped develop a new life for many of its people. There's another word we've heard frequently since we've been in Israel. It has a double meaning, actually. The word is sabra. This is a sabra. And those are sabras, the Israeli children who were actually born in this new land. Why do they call these Israeli children sabras? Well, this sabra is the fruit of a cactus that grows here in Israel. On the outside, it's tough and spiny. But on the inside, well, it's sweet and tender. And that's how the Israelis like to describe these children who have helped create this land against almost overwhelming odds. On the outside, tough and spiny. But on the inside, sweet and tender. Like the Sabra. Today, life in Engev is pleasant. Although it wasn't always that way. The sun is warm and the soil is rich and fertile, just as it was in biblical times. This lake is known as Lake Kinneret now. But we know it as the Sea of Galilee. 